Hello gems, welcome to the Sapphire Star. Today we're gonna be learning how to separate our 2D VTuber animal ears separation, accessory separation, clothing, and the body. So this one's gonna be jam-packed with a lot of stuff going on. So if you're interested in learning, sit back, relax, and enjoy the learning process. Let's let's talk about the wolf ears first. Wolf ears. These are full pieces right now. Again, you could separate it into like top and bottom. I don't think that's necessary. For this model specifically, I just did the full piece. What you do want to make sure is that there is enough space for that when you move the ears and it reveals itself that it's not going to be blank. So what I recommend you doing if you have any type of animal ears is imagine all the different expressions and emotes you might want on the ear and then what you want to do is you want to move it and see what it looks like when you move it. So like if I know she's going to have like a droopy ear emote we need to see what does this look like? Am I going to have to fill this in more? So like if I had it like this I might need to fill a little bit more of the ear in but I'm probably going to have it like this right? So I'm actually going to have to move the ears further behind her head. I wanted to have them in between, but I don't think I can now. We'll see. So if I know her ear is going to be drooping like this, just rotate the piece of art and make sure that it works. If you're going to have it like perking up more like this or something, you might need to fill in the bottom right here, right? So dependent on what kind of movement you're going to give the ears, if you want them to move around like that, it'll have to be more in depth. If they're just going to sit on top of the head and like move a little bit back and forth, then it shouldn't be like too big of a deal. So, and I also have mine like in between some of the hair to look a little bit more 3D as well. So that's what I have for the, for the the wolf ears there. Uh, next we'll, I'll show you what I did for the bow. This doesn't matter too much because we're really not going to be seeing the bow. She's not doing a full turnaround or anything like that, but you might want it like that just in case. So let me show you what the bow looks like. So we got the bow. I'm going to move this completely, completely out so you can see. Okay. So here's the bow. We have the full bow. We have a middle piece. We have a, the right piece. We have the left piece. We have the little like wing down here and we have the left little wing. It's all just separated into different sections there. And you can just do, you can also get away with having just the full bow. And you can also, it could be fine. If you just had the full bow separate, that'd be okay too. I just separated mine more because why not? Once again, it'll give me more control if I need it. But it's back there. So even though we can't see it, if you you might see it. So again, with the, the biggest difference between drawing a flat illustration and getting a piece of art ready for live 2D cubism is you need to draw the unseen. That's the key point. You need to draw the things that are unseen because they might be seen depending on how the model's turning to give it the 3D illusion of 3D. Keep that in mind. Okay, so next what we have is this section is going to be for clothing. So if you have clothing on your uh, model, which I hope you do, uh, this is how you're going to separate your clothing. So for this one, I currently have the sweater actually completely on its own layer, separate from the cream top, because I want to be able to toggle the sweater off and on. So in live 2D cubism, you can set up toggles for things, whether it's a face expression, this is the same concept for face expression, clothing, anything else like that. So if I want to toggle the sweatshirt on and off during stream, I can do that. So the sweater is its whole own layer. So we have the upper sweater area. So this is just the upper that we have separated. Again, you can separate it further. I could like separate this ribbing and the buttons, but for this, I just have the upper because that's what I wanted to do here. And then for the sleeve, I have upper sleeve because you're going to want to, if you're going to have your arms rotating at all, like waving or moving like that, you'll want to separate it into sections like this. So I have the upper sleeve here. We have the lower sleeve and then we have the cuff. So that's for, for this like little sweater thing. So we have upper sleeve, lower sleeve, uh, cuff. And that's the same thing for the right side as well. And then we just have a lower section down here too. So that's how we separated the sweater. Uh, next I'll talk about the cream top. So I'm just going to turn off the sweater area. So next is cream top. There's different ways that you can do this as well. So we have this, the left strap, right strap. Then we have the bow right here, a little bow. And we have the cream shirt lace. So if you have any type of lace like this, you can put it all together. I like to separate lace personally to like left and right. And then we have the uh, bobas are on the same layer as the cream shirt because this this is a pretty tight shirt. If you have something that's looser, you might want to separate like each breast, but for mine, it's a pretty tight shirt here. So I just have this all together. So this is like the chest area. And uh, so that's the bobas plus the, the chest. And then we have the lower half as well. And then make sure the lower half goes up. I'm going to have to fill that in a bit. Uh, make sure the lower half goes up enough because if the, the bobas are moving up or down, you need a little bit of extra space to compensate for that. So if you have like the lower piece, make sure it has a little bit going up. And then next we have the skirt. The skirt is its own layer. I the, Pretty simple as that. I don't have like anything else more for it. So that's for the, that's for the clothes. Next, we're going to talk about the body. And then after that, we'll talk about accessories. Let's talk about, so we're going to go down to legs. Or actually, we'll do arms. We'll start with arms up here. So let's start with arms. So for arms, we have, this is all dependent. You can break it down into full left, full right, etc. So we have the right shoulder. So I just have the shoulder for itself here. We have the left shoulder. But remember, if you're doing this correctly, you'll name them opposite to each other. But I didn't, but I got to fix it. Uh, okay, so we have left shoulder, right shoulder. We have 
have upper arm so that's just the upper part make sure it blends into the bottom arm nicely too for when you're like rotating it and then the upper arm on the left and then we have arm lower so again you can test this you can like rotate it in whatever art program to see what it's gonna look like when it starts rotating so I really recommend you do a ton of tests your arm does not bend like that so you don't need to go that way you can do a bunch of tests to see like what is it gonna look like when it's bent so if I have her arm like rotating up like this how does that look right and then we might need like an elbow too I don't even have an elbow in here you might want to have like another elbow layer I don't think I'm gonna have with this model her hands coming up like that for another model I might but for the first version of this I'm not so and then arm lower on this side we got and then hands are separate uh, if you're gonna do full hand tracking live 2d cubism does have full hand tracking now I'm not doing live I'm not doing full hand tracking for this version of the model I'm going to do one in the future and I will be doing a tutorial in the future as well on how to do full hand tracking for this one it's just the hands by themselves again don't overwhelm yourself if you need to break it up into doing a first version model that's okay because you're probably gonna want to redo it anyways because once you go through live 2d you're gonna learn all these things and be like I'm restarting my model because now I know so much more so it's okay to start with just like this if you need to and then we'll go down to so that's the the arms and then we'll go down to to legs as well so next we have actually no we need to go up first so the neck should be separate you can have the neck going super far up because you're gonna be tilting the head up and down so have the neck like this and then we have upper neck chest area as well so I have collarbone pieces line art actually on separate layers here you can do this as well again you don't need to but you could do that as well and then we have this that little piece right here too as its own and then we have the neckline that's just like a line on the neck that I have separated and then upper chest so this is you'll want to have separate from the bobas in the neck you'll have like this middle section the two shoulders the bobas the neck so again let me do like a little guide here so we'll have so we have like this section here so this can be like section number one you could have shoulders like two two we can have the bobas as like three you can have the neck as like four so that's the sections there and then like you have body five five and then if you had elbows you could have elbows too but I'm not doing that here six six and then again if you're doing basic hands not like any crazy hand movement seven seven for the body and if you want to separate some of the line art pieces like the collarbone you can but again it's not necessary but if you want to like get more accurate like turning in 3d space you probably want to separate it so that's uh the body all right so next we're going to talk about the legs uh unless you're doing like crazy animation with your legs you don't need to do anything crazy with leg separation leg i'm not going to be focusing really on lower body because how many times are you showing the lower half of your body when you're streaming or like making a video not a lot of the time so here i have the left sock and the right sock so i have these little socks separated so we got left we got right and then I really like how the socks turned out and then we just have the full legs full left and left and right again you could separate it to be like upper thigh knee lower thigh foot uh, you could even separate this top foot to give the foot a th really 3d look while turning I didn't do that it's not necessary for this right now depends on what your use case is I I just don't want need to do that so I didn't do that but again you could separate it more um, the next thing we'll talk about if you have a tail if you don't have a tail you can skip this part so wolf tail this is my wolf tail back here I didn't really separate this a lot either I could have gone a lot more intense with it but I didn't I didn't go very intense with it it's literally just like the full tail and then I have the choker and like the bell and stuff and I'll show you guys that on her actual choker so wolf tail is really not it's just mostly the wolf tail because I'm just gonna have it move back and forth it's not gonna be crazy but if you wanted the tail to come up and like wave or like wag that'd be a whole nother thing as well next we'll talk about accessories so let's if you have any accessories this is gonna be a good section for you so first we're gonna talk about a choker so if you have a choker necklace this is how I separated it so we got the choker bow first so separate it into different section so here's the middle piece of the bow middle piece of the bow we got left left bow right bow we have the lower ribbon on both sides we've got the bell so this is the bell that's on the choker as well so we have the bell itself is separated we got the ring separated we got the hook separated I'm not gonna move it right now because it's really tiny and then we have this like little ball that hooks onto it so again you see how this works because if we want the this is important for accessories because if I want the bell to like ring or have like physics where it's like dangling and kind of doing like a pendulum thing it's very important that you separate it quite a lot to be able to get that effect to get really nice physics if you if you want it to be more stiff then you can have it less separated but if you want it to have really nice like pendulum physics it's very important that you separate it out pretty pretty strictly so the next thing is the choker strap so I just have the strap here as you can see and then the the, the lace so we have all that se separated again if you wanted to you could just have this be like this and then you don't have to separate anything you could just have it as the full choker but the more you separate it the more control you have I'll keep saying it 
because um, just to help you guys understand that concept. And then next we have my necklace. So this is the same concept. I have the necklace. This is the gem here. So it's going to be able to do a pendulum swing. So basically if Sai is moving, it'll be able to dangle back and forth like this. Again, make sure to use your rotate to like test it. So this will be able to dangle back and forth. And then we have like the, the strap itself too. And I could separate this further. I could have the gem be itself and like the top silver be itself, but I don't need it for this. And then I have like the, the lace of the necklace there. And then also we'll want the separate too, because we can do a full toggle. We can also toggle the necklace off and on. We can set that up as well, which I'll be working on too in the future. So um, that's accessories. That's, yeah, that's pretty much, I think we covered everything. That's, yo, that's it. We got it all. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have questions specifically, make sure you join the discord. You can ask questions in the question section about your model. If you need to like send a screenshot, uh, feel free to do that and keep up to date in the discord as well with the new videos that'll be coming out. If you need a video to start next to continue learning about how to be a 2D VTuber or how to rig a 2D model, make sure you check out this playlist so you can make the most for learning how to make a character for live 2D cubism. I'll see you next time in the Sapphire Star. Bye!